some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Providence, Rhode Island with uh, William Tolbert, a.k.a. Whisk Boy, a.k.a. Fake Mike Real News. But you know what? I prefer uh, Whisk Boy. It sounds a lot more uh, appropriate for his ideology, considering he carries around a whisk, which kind of takes away from his credibility as far as being a serious journalist goes, but whatever. At any rate, I was apparently drawn into this video, considering I thought he was about to go to jail because of the title. I'm taking you to jail, or something like that. Anyway, but anyway, he's at an accident site, and, uh, well, he tries to interview the police officers, but they completely ignore him. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. But yeah, make sure you check out the new links in the description. We've got some new links in the description. Also, we're going to be doing some traveling, so uh, donations will be accepted. Usually I never ask for donations. But this year, my goal is to get Fake Mike Real News to over 50,000 subscribers. We're almost at 20,000, so help me out. Share the video, that's the best way to help. Uh, donation links, links to my social, links to imlronhubbard.com, all there. Check them out, fakemikerealnews.com. Biatch! Hey, thank you. I remember this guy. I remember you. Yeah, I remember you. I don't want to know you, but I know who you are. Okay, so you want to reach 50,000 subscribers by the end of summer. Uh, that is a pretty lofty goal for a channel of your size at about 16,000. And you know what? I've got barely 6,000 subscribers myself, and I still have more views than you in a 28-day period right now. You've got barely 100,000 views in that same time frame where I've got nearly 800,000 views. And for a channel your size, that is pathetic. Now, me, I have a more tangible goal. My first video that I uploaded for this particular brand was on July 10th of last year. So I intend to be at 10,000 subscribers by that point. That is a bit more reasonable than what you are wanting to go for. Yeah, I need... Uh... Documents for the trailer, the truck, his medical card, his, regist uh, his registration, his insurance, his license. How's it going, officer? Good. Thanks for your service, man. What kind? What, how you get? What you? What you do to get the special car? What are you like a captain or something? No, no, I'm just a patrolman. Patrolman, cool. Can I ask you one question? What can I do for you? Just wondering if you could tell me the five parts of the First Amendment. Sir, do me a favor. I'm in the middle of a of an incident here. Sure. Can, can you please go away? Sure. What's your name, badge number? You're not too bright, are you, William? Considering that this does not look like the appropriate time or place to be quizzing officers on the uh, five parts of the First Amendment, considering that they are quite busy engaging in an accident scene at this very moment. You are being a detriment to their efforts by being here. So as other frauders would say, go kick rocks, dude. Roman Harris, Police Department, badge number 454. Do you know that? You have a great day, sir. I'm in the, I'm, I'm in the middle of a call. If okay. you want to wait until I'm done with this, I have no problem talking to you. Cool, great. I will. I've got nothing better to do.
Oh, we finally got an admission out of his mouth that he has nothing better to do than harass these people while they are in the middle of an accident scene. Well, it's only understandable. You are unemployed and unemployable. I mean, you probably also have a few uh, screws loose as well. That's why nobody will hire you. And now we all have to suffer through your psychosis because you don't have anything better to do. Thank you, firefighters, for your service. We love the firefighters. Police? Eh, not so much. But the firefighters, we like them because they never shoot your dogs. They never violate the Constitution. And firefighters, they don't wear the Ray-Bans, you know? Let's see if, uh, let's see if Boots knows the, the First Amendment when he's all said and done with this. You say he's going to talk to us. Ask you one question, sir. I promise I'll leave you alone after this. No? Nah? What's your name and badge number? It's your policy to identify yourself once you've had an interaction, sir. Are you violating policy, Ray-Ban? Uh, can you provide a citation for that so-called policy? Otherwise, just shut your mouth because this guy didn't interact with you. Uh, you started the whole conversation and he completely ignored you. I don't understand why cops want to be cops if they don't know the Constitution, they don't want to interact with the public, wear stupid Ray-Bans, do a walk of shame. Like, why would you do that? Well, dude, at least these guys have a job. Unlike you, you will be unemployable for the rest of your life due to your uh, mental issues, which is probably why Ask Elmo ended up kicking you to the curb because he realizes that you are nothing more than an anchor to weigh him down. And that's probably why his channel is a whole lot more successful than yours will ever be. Come here. You go talk to him then. You're staring at me. How's your day going? Bust any good bad guys? Good guys? 323. What's your name, sir? I feel like we got off on the wrong foot. Why do you why do you have such disdain for me, sir? I don't know, you're the one that's looking at me. I know I know you, and I'm trying to have a conversation with you. I just I'm asking you I'm, I'm I I just want to ask I'm sorry? I can't hear what you're saying when you're walking away. When you walk away, I can't hear what you're saying, bro. That whole interaction right there is analogous to your whole pathetic existence on YouTube. Getting ignored and them walking away from you. That's your whole existence on YouTube right there. People ignoring you and walking away from you. All right, quickly, sir, can you tell me the First Amendment? I'm in the middle of an investigation. Please leave me alone. You said you'd be talk to me when you're done. You gave me your word. Okay, I'm waiting. The What's that? I have to go up and around the corner. Can you just tell me the First Amendment now? It takes two seconds. Do you know it? So, I, uh, I've traveled the country the last few years. And I've asked hundreds of officers if they can tell me what the First Amendment is. Guess how many correct answers I've gotten? Zero. And they all take a sacred oath before God and their countrymen to protect our rights. How can they protect them if they don't know what they are, you know? Thank you so much. Have a good day. Come on. Thank you. We're going to follow this fool. He's, he's not getting off the hook. I'm going to go up and around the corner. He's a, he's, a, he's a liar, dog. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. First Amendment. Be a man of your word, sir. I told you I'm still in the middle of the investigation, did I? Yeah. Okay. I'm just telling you to, to, to keep your word. 
I'm telling you to keep your word as a man. That's the only thing you have. You're one of those idiot losers who doesn't know the Constitution. Yep, roll up that window, coward. Yep. Our founding fathers. Our founding fathers. Bro, you could you you could you, you, could, you for what? No, impeding is a physical activity. You know better than that. Impeding is a physical activity. Uh, no, it's not. In fact, uh, if you look up a lot of the uh, statutes on that from across the country, you'll see that if you even draw the uh, officer's attention away from the scene of the accident or uh, whatever they're doing, uh, yeah, that is considered impeding the investigation. So, uh, yeah, you're completely wrong on that one. I'm in a public sidewalk. It's called Freedom of Press, called Freedom of Protest. Did your parents have any children that live? Sir, yes, sir. How about they regret that? You should know that. <laughs> oh, you locked up for impeding. This, that, he's one of those auditors. He's one of those people that ask me questions. You all set? At least I can grow here. Huh? At least I can grow here. turned into a documentary audit, yo. William, I wouldn't call a uh, video that has more than two-thirds dead air a documentary. I would call that a boring pile of crap. Hey, this is private property. That's the street. This is a different ballgame. Yeah. Actually, it's private property. It's private you can't property. Say shit. Yeah, what an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> coward. That's what a coward does. So it's 44. If you guys want to call and politely address voice your concerns, guys throwing out fake charges. That's right. See you later. We're going to give him the suck it. Ready? Suck it. And that's why the fakest of all mics does what he does. It's about this time I would uh, call you a Rodney Dangerfield clone, considering that you get no respect. No respect at all. And that is a lot more than you deserve anyway, but hell, these officers did a damn good job in ignoring you and not paying one bit of attention to you in the slightest. Well done, officers. Well done. Well, at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.